Hi guys, Shanna Kramer here. Welcome to Creatively Uncorked. This is our paint along um, live online through Facebook. And I know a lot of people came in earlier today and they picked up their art kits for this, the purple tulips. And this is gonna be a great one. We're gonna have a lot of fun. This, uh, the purple tulips, uh, if you ordered your art kit, uh, this is what you would have gotten. You'd have gotten a canvas. Yours would have probably been a brand new canvas, not a reused one like I have. Uh, you would have gotten some paint. We have black, purple, blue, and white. We have uh, your reference photo, which is what we're going to be paying attention to when we're painting. And we also have some paint brushes. Most everybody got paint brushes. You'll have something similar to this if you're just painting along with your own supplies. A slightly wider flat brush, that's about a three quarter inch flat, and then a medium to small round, just for some the swirl details. This picture is a little bit easier to see those details. So you can see we've got kind of some swirls going on in there. Okay. All right, so I am trying to do all of the technical things myself today. So if I'm, I'm trying to pay attention to if, I, if anybody uh, makes any comments, so please do make comments. Don't be shy, keep me entertained. Um, I'm just uh, gonna have to look up here once in a while and see if I can keep up with the comments as we go along tonight. Okay. All right, so here's tonight's painting. And then before we get started, and while I'm sorting out my technical difficulties, Perfect. So I can see Jennifer, Patty Gross, Caitlin, and four other people is <laughs> showing me names, but that's okay. All right, so this is the second paint along this week. We're doing three this week, so it's gonna be a busy week. So this one is tonight. The next one is going to be Saturday night, and Saturday nights will be this lovely Milky Way. And I'm sure you've seen this before. We'll be sending out the kits with a little bit different supplies for this particular one. Uh, if you want to order your kit, you can do that online. If you want to use your own supplies and paint along, the video is going to be right here. And this will be at 7 p.m. on Saturday. What we're trying to do is just take our in-studio events and put as many of them online as possible, just because we still want to paint with you guys. And a lot of people can't leave the house right now. <laughs> Social distancing and all that. So this is a perfect way to paint together, is we get to do a live online. So this is Saturday and then next Monday, next Monday will be Lit Moon. Uh, we've been setting out a bunch of kits for this one. Again, if you're just painting along at home with your own supplies, this one will be next Monday. But if you're ordering a kit, then we will be, you, you can order that anytime on Friday and that will definitely be ready on Monday. If you order it by probably two, 3 p.m. on Monday, you should still be able to get it in time for Monday night's paint along. Actually, I think the cutoffs for this are at 3 p.m. So order it before three on Monday and you can have it in time for the paint along. Then the following Monday, then we have this, um, this blue vase here. And this is going to be on Monday, March 30th. We have another one in between, but I don't have a sample of it here. So I'll just show you what I got. But you can always check out the calendar, creativelyuncorked.com. And you can see all of the live paintings that we have coming up. All right, so I have Here's my reference photo for the purple tulips. If you got your art kit, you probably had a sketch canvas. If you're just following along without a sketch canvas, I'll just show you quickly how to sketch that. Let's just pretend this is my canvas for a moment. All right. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Summer. Hi, Kelsey. So this is my canvas that I'm going to be sketching, I have the two flowers. The top flower is more than halfway across and about one third down. So more than halfway across, about one third down. Okay, and I'll just make a big kind of an oval. All right, the next flower is down to the left, so it's about halfway down the canvas and it only takes up about less than a quarter of the canvas. So halfway down, another little circle. Okay, so I'm starting with those circles and I can just go ahead and add my stems in here if I like. Just a couple of the little arcs. 
You can get as detailed with your drawing as you want, but you are going to be covering this with paint. So, um, and since you will be covering it with paint, if you don't want to be too careful, if you still want to see your lines, you can draw these, redraw these really, really dark with pencil or something else that can work really well is just tracing over this with Sharpie. Sharpie is really tough to paint over, so you'll still be able to see through it for a couple of layers. You'll cover it up by the end, but it's going to be fine. And it will help you to see through it after you paint your background. All right, so back up to my top flower. So I have this large front petal, and that's got a big scoop, another big scoop, and that just cuts off across the top. And then we have a side petal, one on each side. And if I'm going too fast, let me know. Uh, it's, it's really easy in the studio when I can walk around and talk to everybody and see what they're doing to see if I'm going too fast. But right now, when I'm doing it live, I can't really tell. So if I'm going too fast, just let me know. All right, so I just go down a little bit. Let's see, I want to go about a little ways out, and then I'm just going to arc down another petal. Mm, sure, we'll call it a petal. Okay, and then I'm going to go a little ways outside of that, and this time all the way to the edge of my oval. Arc down again, and these are all connecting at the bottom. All right, now over on the right-hand side, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Distances may or may not be the same from that center petal, but it's still going to connect at the bottom. Okay, and then we've got the tops. So I'll just draw little lines at the top, just kind of connect that to the main flower. And that's about it. And if you want to draw your lines a little bit darker, you can do that. This bottom flower, it's just got mainly three petals. One, two, three. So we'll do the first petal, the right-hand side of it just arcs up. And the left side of that petal just, it takes up about half of the circle that we drew. Arcs down. Top of the line across. Oh, broke my lid. Top of the line across. I'm trying to draw it dark so that it shows up on camera, but it's hard on lead. Let's see, hi Kelsey, hi Anne, hi Don. Hi, Jackin. Got a pretty good crowd today. Don't be afraid to make comments. If you have an idea for a next painting that you want to see live, let me, leave me a comment. Let me know. So second petal, we'll move a little ways out. Draw that petal down. Arc it down. Meet at the bottom. Third petal goes all the way to the outside of that circle. And arc that in. We'll handle the tops of our flowers, our tops of our petals, same thing as we did here. So we'll just little line across, little line across. Okay. And if you want to make it a little bit bendier, you can, your stem, or less bendy, totally your call. So basically, this is the result that we're after. We don't want to, we don't need to be any more detailed than that. We don't need to do any of this background information because we'll cover that all with paint anyway. So this is a stage we should all be at and be ready to start painting. Set that aside. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, get back to my kit. And if you need a few extra supplies, the extra supplies I'd recommend are definitely going to be a paper plate in case you wanna do any blending, a water cup because you wanna put your brushes in your water when you're not using them. Don't let the paint dry on your brush. It will extremely shorten the life of your brush. And paper towel, definitely a paper towel. You'll want that. All right, so I'll take my cheat sheet and I'll just, I'll put that right up here. Maybe I'll just put it right over there, okay? So we can all see it. And I have my two brushes. I'll start with my big brush. Just put that little brush aside. Make sure I have all of my paint colors open. And I think I'll, because I'm used to mixing paint on my plate, I'll just open these up and leave them right on my plate. And I think a lot of you have painted with us at Creative Land Cork in our studio or at one of our events. So you're, you'd be familiar then with our, with our setup here. Uh, mine is the easel, we don't have easels here, but unless you have an easel at home. Otherwise I've got my paints over here, my water, my brush, and I'm good to go. So hi Natalie, hi Donna, hi Jessica. Hi Brittany, hi Kate, if I didn't say hi yet. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and take your big brush, give that a good swish in the water. And then just drag the brush on the edge of the cup to get the excess water out. And we'll start with our background. We'll start with our blues and our whites. 
So to do that, I'm just going to dunk the brush in blue. Actually, I'm gonna pour some out of my plate. Yep, a little bit out of my plate. Otherwise my white's gonna be messy pretty soon. It's just the way it goes. Okay, so now I have a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. I'm not worried about keeping the blue too pure. That's, the blue's gonna be blended with everything. Okay, blue and white. Now I'm starting at the top of my canvas. I'm doing big vertical strokes. Just drag the brush all the way across the canvas. Okay, and as I'm going on, I'm just taking a chunk of blue and a chunk of my light blue mix. So now I'm getting a nice streakier color in the background. As I get close to where my flower is, there, I am covering up my my pencil lines, but I'm not painting over it so much that I can't see my pencil lines. So keep your paint kind of thin. It's not peanut butter after all. So keep it kind of thin because we also want this to dry quickly. We are going to take a break once we get our background on there and uh, let this dry. So now I've got my blue and white mix here. I'm just taking both of those colors and as I'm getting toward the center, I want it to get a little bit lighter. Still working with my blue and white. Try to get that brighter. And maybe just take a little bit more, just plain white, just for that bright area. So I want the center to be nice and bright just because mm, it looks nicer. It's kind of my attention area. I want people to look at the flower. So if I have the lighter background right behind the flower, it'll, and then the dark flower, it'll draw attention to it nicely. So if you look over here on my reference photo, I do have black down here on the bottom. I'm not going to add that yet because it will muddy up my colors. Okay, still working with the blue and white, coming up to the top. And I'm just filling in the whole background. Maybe even going a little bit darker as I get to the outside. So this is, we have a couple of new offerings from Creatively Uncorked. We have our, uh, the online live class, which is exactly what we're doing now. And these will be saved in our Facebook group for a while. So if you would like to do this painting later, but you didn't get a kit today, you can always order your kit online uh, at, and in, if you order it online to paint it later, then it'll be called um, Art Kit To Go. So you can just choose this design and you can get this one sent to you or you can come and pick it up. And then you can just look back on this video and follow along. If it's an art kit to go, you'll have some instructions too. But it's always nice to watch a watch a paint along. Okay, so if you see what I'm doing, if I start in the middle of the canvas and just drag the brush, I'm getting these brush marks. If you want the brush marks, that's super fantastic. But if you want nice smooth lines, just drag the brush. Long brush strokes. Start off the edge of the canvas and just lift off. And I'll get to be on the bottom here. I have a much darker color, so I'll go into the more pure blue and just blend that in. So if you want to ask questions, go ahead and type them into the comments. I'll look up and check them every once in a while. And I know we're on a pretty good delay. It's up to about a 30 second delay. So if I don't answer right away, that's why. But go ahead and ask questions anyway leave comments so I know you're there <laughs> say hi to your new creatively uncorked insider fam okay so now I've got a nice good blue background there and while this background is still wet I'm going to bring in some of my blacks and just blend that in so to really darken the bottom so I'm taking my brush and just wiping off the excess paint on the paper towel and then just going right into the black, going to the bottom edge of the canvas and just pull up. This is where if you need to see where your stem is, be a little more careful because this will cover up your pencil lines. Okay, so I'm not over blending. All I'm doing is just adding a little bit of black at the bottom and just pulling, a, pulling up a streak. There. 
and just kind of lift off. There, now we've got some nice dark color variation in our background. Okay, and then we'll leave that like that. Wipe off the paint off of the brush here. Let's see, I think I wanna take a little bit lighter, kinda of wanna brighten up right here. And you adjust your painting as you want to. Is anybody using any other colors besides purple and blue? And good pro tip is just to rinse your brush. And if you haven't done it before, just take your brush, go right down to the bottom of the cup and just give it a good swish. And that should get most of the paint out, enough of the paint out that you don't have to worry about it until, uh, until you're done painting, until you're ready to clean your brush. Okay. Trying to make that streak a little happier right there. There. Okay. Looks like I'm just blending my black in, so. <laughs> so maybe I should stop here. And if you're, if you just keep going and going and going on your painting, sometimes it uh, gets worse instead of better. And if you ever ask yourself, should I stop? The answer is always yes. All right, go ahead and rinse your brush out here. So I'm setting my paint aside and this is gonna have to dry. Probably, if you didn't put your paint on too thick, it should be pretty dry in 10 minutes or less. So yeah, I think we're good to go. So I'm gonna let this rest. If you wanna, if you need to take your cheat sheet or take your paper plate, you know, and you wanna give it a fan, that is absolutely a good idea. Because we're live, we have a little bit of time. At the studio, this would be the time where you go get another drink, you go to the bathroom. So for upcoming events at the Creative Land Cork Studio, we all know we have all these restrictions. We can't uh, have too many people gathering in one place. Uh, we have to be careful, social distancing. A lot of events are just plain canceling or we're trying to put them online instead. So we're taking um, paintings from our calendar and if we can make it live, we're trying to make it live. If we can't make it live, it's just getting um, deleted. And some of the things that we can still do in the studio, so some of the events that have not canceled are chunky blanket knitting. So if you wanna get in on a chunky blanket knitting class, you can do that. They are still scheduled for the next several Sundays. The reason that we're going ahead with those is because we're making pretty big blankets. Everybody gets a pretty decent amount of space in the studio. So we, we practice social distancing with our chunky blanket knitting. Um, so I think we're pretty safe there. Otherwise, otherwise we're still doing, we're still, we are moving a lot of them um, online. And three this week, I think might be a little bit too much. I think we might go to just two a week after this. Two a week might be a little bit easier to keep up with, but at the same time, I know right now all the kids are home from school and we need to keep them busy and we need to keep ourselves occupied. So yeah, this is just a good week to do extra paint-alongs. So yesterday's paint-along we did, let's see if I can find it here. So yesterday's painting, we did this dot mandala. We didn't go quite this, uh, quite this dotty with it. <laughs> this one was, had a lot more time being put into it. So, and, I just showed a general how to uh, how to do your dot mandala without going totally overboard like this. Let's see. Here is my finished piece as I ended with it yesterday. And if you order a dot mandala kit, uh, you can get this in the art to go section. And what you get with your kit is you get this uh, canvas with the grid on it. And this grid is chalk. So if you, when you're done with your dots and you want that chalk to go away, just, uh, just rub it gently with a damp paper towel and it'll take all of that chalk right off of there. Okay. You'll also get with your Dot Mandela kit, you can get, um, well, you're gonna get four colors of paint and just give us a general idea in the notes, what colors that you want. You can just say like blues or turquoise or reds or whatever. And then we'll go from there, but it'll be four colors. You'll also get all of these dot tools. So when you order it, just say no brushes. 
You won't need brushes with it, but you will just get a set of these tools. Hi, Laura. Okay. And I know we had some requests for sunflowers. So if you want to see a sunflower paint along, I think we're going to have one of those coming up. I don't know if it'll be yet in March. It might be in April. We'll be doing the paint alongs for sure on Monday nights. And right now we have them scheduled pretty much on Thursday nights as well. Uh, so it might we might stick to that schedule, we might not. It's pretty early to tell, so we'll find out. Uh, the last one, oh, the other paint along that we're doing next week is going to be the, the lake sunfish. And I don't have a picture of it right now, but it's the one where you know, you see the lake in the background, you have the sunfish shape, and then you have like a lake scene inside the fish. So you can find it. That one will be on the art to go kit as well. Okay. Let me know if your paint is drying. You can always take your paper plate and give it a little fan. Just want to check the schedule coming up here. Yep, so all of our events this weekend, so Friday night, you pick, this week canceled. Saturday classes, all of our Saturday classes are canceled. Sunday is the uh, the Chunky Blanket Knitting, and the Chunky Blanket Knitting class is going on as planned. Um, so yep, you'll. I think each person is just going to have their own entire eight foot table. So don't worry, you're not going to be near anyone. If you want to go ahead and uh, sign up for a chunky knit blanket class, can't go wrong with that. And then Monday night we have the, the Lit Moon Paint Along. Yep, and Thursday, it's that Thursday the 26th is going to be the Lit, or the, uh, this, the Lake Sunfish. And we'll see, but that Friday night, Friday night the 27th, we have a you pick scheduled and so far that one is still going on. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yep, and then the Saturday, after that, Saturday the 28th, that's going to be the Milky Way Live Online Paint Along. And the next Sunday, of course, Chunky Blankets again. So today with the... Hi, Terry. Today with the, uh, the art kits, today was the first day that we started shipping. So if you need to have your art kit shipped or delivered locally, that is an option now on the website. So if you find the art kits to go section and you find your design, you order a few of them, probably. Um, we can fit a few different canvases, a few different kits into one box. So if you want to have multiple kits shipped, it's still a $15 flat fee. So, or 16, I mean, I'm sorry. So for the flat fee, we can fit several kits into one box. So if you would like to order some kits to have them shipped to you, you can go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, we just started that today, so we have several already that are going to be shipped out tomorrow. And delivery, that hasn't really, we haven't really done any deliveries. Uh, but we, well, something that we are doing definitely is if you don't want to come into the building, just give us a call when you come to pick up your kit, and we'll run it out to your car and give it to you, so that way you don't have to come inside. Uh, a lot of people are just coming up to the door, and then we can hand it to them at the door. It works really well, and... You know, nobody wants to get sick, so we're all kind of practicing our distancing. It's, it's working out really well. So, like I was saying, the two different types... Hi, Deborah. The two different types of art kits that we're doing. We're doing the art kits to go, and that's where you can just choose your design. And we'll send your whole kit out to you, everything you need to do that one. Um, and the instructions, and you can work on those kits at your leisure, which is a really, really great option if you're trying to keep a bunch of kids or yourself occupied for the weekend. And if you want to order kits to go for this weekend, uh, I'd say order them by by 2 p.m. tomorrow, possibly by 3. Uh, if, you're, if you're not sure if we're going to have it done on time, just give us a call and we'll see. Um, we won't, we'll try to get everything out that comes in tomorrow just to make sure because I know there are a lot of people that want their kits for the weekend. 
Uh, so if you, you need it for the weekend, just let us know that you're looking forward to it for the weekend. Um, get your order in pretty early and yeah, we'll have it ready for you. Okay, how are your backgrounds? The next part that we'll be working on will be right up in here around the tulips. I'm guessing your background is not completely dry yet, especially if you put on your paint a little bit heavy in some areas, but as long as it's dry enough near the flower, that's the only part that we really need to worry about because that's the part we'll be working on next. All right, so I'm going to use my purple and I still have my big flat brush. I'll just take a little purple, a little white, I think I can just do this just by dipping my brush into these paints. So I'll just take a corner of purple, pretty decent amount of purple on that brush, and just a little bit of white. And I'm going up to my outside petal. You can see that the outside edge of that petal is darker than the inside. So when I have one corner purple, one corner white, I want the purple side out on the outside edge. So purple side out, starting at the very top of the flower, and just pull down and meet at the bottom. I'm gonna do that one more time. Okay, I'm gonna let that go and move on to the next one. So same, same thing, dip one end in purple, one edge in white. This time I'll start on the inside edge of the petal. So at the top and pull that down. So now I have this gap, I'm just dunking in a little bit more paint going a little bit outside, so I'm touching the outside edge of that petal, and just pull down. One tip is when you pull your brush down, if you just twist it a little bit, you can meet right at the bottom. And we'll be adding these lines later, these black lines later, and we'll be adding these highlights. So if it isn't perfect, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna cover it up, nobody will see. So then I'll come over here to the right side. Do the same thing. I have probably enough paint on my brush, purple on one edge, white on the other, and I'll go to my outside petal, brush at the top, and just pull down toward your stem. Okay, I'll do that one more time on that outside petal just because I have a little bit of space left. And yours may or may not be exactly the same as mine. These are all hand-drawn, so we aren't looking at uh, probably that many exact similarities. So there we are. So now I have my outside petal. Now I'll move into my middle petal. In this one, it's a little bit thinner, so I'll just take a little bit more purple and then white on one edge, and then I'll make sure the purple is on the outside White is pointed toward the inside, right on the edge of that petal, and just pull that right down to the center. In this case, I'm not really worried about if I'm covering the center petal, because I'm painting that one next, and it's going to cover up any mistakes I make. Well, let's not call them mistakes, <laughs> right? There are no mistakes, only happy accidents. And that's looking pretty good right there. So now I want to move on to my center petal, and the center petal is... Let's see, this time I'll just dunk it in just purple. Not too much purple. All right, so now I'll start at the bottom and work my way up. So down at the bottom of that petal, pull up to the top, but not all the way, okay? Because I want my nice edge from the top down, so I just kind of lift off. More purple, starting at the bottom, and just pull that color up to the top of the petal and lift off. And remember, this is only a base layer. We are going to add a couple of layers to our flower, so don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like this. It's fun art, not fine art. We're not all going to end up with exactly the same. It's all about having fun. Okay, so I've got the purples blended up toward the top of my petal. Now this time I'll take a little touch of white with my purple, so I have a lighter purple this time. Slightly blended, and then I'm just starting at the outside edge of my petal and then pull it down, maybe a little bit more white. Okay, stop top of my petal and just pull it down and lift it off. Then 
just move over a little, pull down and lift off. And this is creating our flower shape. And if you want to practice this technique a little bit on a paper plate or on something else that might be handy, piece of paper before you commit to your canvas, um, it's just a quick swipe and lift off. Not much to it, but go ahead and practice if you like. And then when you're ready, go to your flower and add your flower. So this, the background is pretty wet paint right now, and that is just the background layer of that flower. So I'm going to let that one sit and move on to my small flower. Hi, Jessica. Hi, is it, is it Femi? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Now I'll move on to my smallest flower. And this one I'll take, I'll start with just purple and I'll start with my outside petal. Again, I'm starting at the top and pulling down. Okay, got a little bit of white in my brush here, so it's nice and bright, but I don't wanna redo it right now. So now I'll go to my center petal, right over the top of that, put the brush down and pull down. Okay, looking pretty good. Now this big petal, just like this front petal here, I'll just wipe off the brush because I have a lot of white in there and I want mostly purple. And then I'll pick up some purple and then I'll start at the bottom and work my way up. So the inside of this petal, just put the brush down and again, lift off. Before you get to the top, lift off. So down the right side of the petal and lift off. Okay, so that gives me my purple background. Now this time I can, and if I'm going too fast guys, just say so. When you're watching the rerun later, you can hit pause and go at your own pace. Um, I know I kind of paint fast and I can't keep an eye on you guys and see how you're painting, how fast you're going, so. All right, so I have more white mixed in, starting on the left side of that front petal. Swoop down and lift off. Swoop down and lift off. There we are. Okay, so now we've got a pretty good petal there. And I'll just wipe that extra paint off of my brush and just give that a good rinse. Anybody have any fun plans for the weekend? <laughs> fun plans involving probably staying at home? If you're bored Saturday night and you want to do another paint along, we're going to have uh, this Milky Way. It's been a very popular painting over the last couple of years, so we'll do the Milky Way Saturday night. That one starts at 7. We'll have kits available tomorrow. And for these live online classes, these live classes are found on the calendar, which I'm sure most of you know you got here somehow, right? So you find the live classes on our calendar and you can just purchase an art kit uh, get on the Facebook group right here, and then we'll do the live walkthrough. And these live recordings, these are going to be staying on the Facebook group for a while. So if you get a kit later and you want to walk along or do the walkthrough of the painting, you can just watch the video later at any time. Well, I won't say at any time, they're going to be on the group for a while, but I guess I won't commit to saying how long they'll be on there. But yeah, these, these will be on there for a while. I know we've all got well, a lot of people have kids at home that they need to keep busy right now. So we'll want these uh, these paintings on here. Um, and if you order these art kits later, yeah, nice and easy. The other option besides these live paint-alongs is the art kits to go. The art kits to go, and you'll find those on the website. You can choose from about 75 different paintings and we'll send you the pre-sketch canvas, your colors, your brushes, your instructions, so you'll have everything you need to walk through your painting um, at any time you want to. So that one, you, you don't have to wait for a live video to come up. You don't have to watch anything online. You just follow through the instructions. Although I do feel like it's pretty helpful to <laughs> have the video to walk along to. Okay, so go ahead and try to dry that just a little bit if you can because we want this to be at least a little bit dry before we move on. Okay, 
So in the meantime, we can add our stems, we can add our background textures. If you wanna add this lighter area that you see on the, the original, you can add that lighter area. Really, once your background is there, it's usually a good idea to leave it alone and let it dry. I'll just try to add mine a little bit of light blue at the bottom, just so it looks more like the original. Although I always recommend not doing this because <laughs> uh, it just makes it take longer to dry and it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Just put your background on in the first place until you're happy with it. And once you're happy with it, let it go, leave it alone. Is there a song about that? All right, so we can take our brush. You can either leave that in your water or these are your brushes. You do what you want with them. If you were at the studio, I would make you put them in your cup because we don't want them to dry out. Uh, if, and these are wooden handles. I don't know what you have for brushes if you have these, but these are wooden handles. If you leave, let them soak in water like all day, all night, yeah, it's gonna wear out your brushes for sure. But if you let paint dry in your brush, it's going to wear it out in an hour. So uh, to extend the life, we just leave them in the water until we're done painting. And then we clean the brushes at the end. When you clean your brushes, um, if you have a good brush cleaning soap, that's fine. A lot of us don't, you know, no big deal. You can always use Dawn dish soap. It works pretty well. Uh, some things I would recommend instead would be like Castile soap works nicely. Um, Murphy's oil soap works really well. Or if you have like an actual brush soap, like a, like a master's brush soap or something, that would probably be even better. So I have some stems that I can add. Yeah, I think I might go with the stems next. I also have these fun designs in the background. Actually, let's do some of those fun background swirls first. Um, the stems, I wanna let the front of the petals just dry a little bit further uh, so I can get the black up into the stems. So yeah, let's do some of the fun swirls. So I'm just taking my little brush and you should maybe have a little brown, round brush that you got in your kit, dunking that in the water. And then just taking a little bit of my white paint, scooping it out onto my plate and mixing some water in it. So it's going to be a little more watery. And if you wanna do, I'll do some of these like little purple swirls. So then I'll just take a little touch of purple, scooping it out, mixing it into that white, adding a little bit more water if you need to. You do want it to be pretty fluidy, not drippy, but pretty fluidly, fluidy so that it flows nicely. There, just added a touch more white to brighten it up. You go ahead and mix up whatever color you're happy with. If you don't want to use purple, you want to use some other color, you want to use blue or whatever color you're painting with today, go for it. It's your painting. You do what you want. All right. Hi, Diane. So when we get to the swirls, super easy. So all you're doing is just putting your brush down and then just swirl. Lovely, right? So if you want to go a couple different directions with your swirls, put the brush down swirl see nice and easy nothing to it again if you want to practice on a plate or some other piece of paper before you do this before you commit to it you can go ahead and do that uh, make the swirls as big or as small as you like do another little swirl and whatever brush you're using you're going to end up with a little bit different result my round brush here is pretty big um, so i'm going to end up with a bigger swirl i'm fine with that i don't mind it Picking up brush every time before I make a new swirl though. See, I'll make a backward swirl. You see how my paint's starting to get a little bit dry. You're starting to see um, like right through it. So I'll pick up a little bit more paint now. A little bit more water, just mixing a little bit more together. A couple more drops of water. All right, looking good another little swirl you know these are all way too similar in color aren't they i'm gonna add a, some white brighten this up a little coming up here do another little swirl these are kind of fun little cinnamon bun shapes and go ahead and do as many of those as you want they're kind of fun kind of like tree branches if you <laughs> if you paint trees and you can kind of just go way overboard painting those branches Although I kind of feel like there's never really an overboard. Branches are just fun to paint. 
sore swirls. Some things you can't have too much of. Tree branches, swirls, glitter. <laughs> if you ever come in for the kids' paintings, uh, you know we kind of like to use a lot of glitter on those paintings. And it's okay because they're in our studio and it's not like powder glitter or anything that they use. It's more like um, like a glitter glaze. So it's a, it's a clear paint with glitter in it. So then we have them just paint over the top of their dry painting when they're done. And that just makes it, adds a nice little glitter layer to it. Okay, I'm almost done swirling here. And I am going to want to add a few different, uh, few different colors of swirls. And I've got some dots. Let's brighten that swirl up. So we've got kind of an even, sort of a purpley, you know, I'll make another one. Okay, <laughs> that's it, I swear. All right, so now I'm gonna take some white. I'll just wipe off some of this extra paint off of my brush and then I'll go into some white, mix a little water. It's turning into a super light purple because I still had a little bit of purple paint in my brush. That's just fine, this is a nice color. So now I'm taking my light, light, super light purple. And then if you can see on the cheat sheet here, we've got some nice white swirls, white shading kind of, is it shading? Well, we've got some white detailing right over the top of some of these. So let's see. There, I'm just going over the edges of some of these. And you could do as much or as little if you want. If you'd rather go with a blue or a black or whatever other color you're working with, that is perfect. Hi, Tasha. Welcome to the paint along. And hey, guys, if you know any paintings that you want to do, or if you have ideas for paintings that you want to do, let me know. Um, I want to paint what you want to paint. I mean, we're all in this together, right? There, brightening that up. So for those of you that we didn't pack up the kits for that are doing your own supplies, what colors are you going with today? Are you still going with the purples? Or are you going with something else? Just curious. Purple is one of those colors that you either love it or hate it. There aren't that many uh, in-between people who just kind of like it. You just never hear that. Um, so sometimes we see this painting done in like oranges and yellows, just a bunch of other colors. So, I mean, tulips, I have some yellow tulips upstairs on my table right now. In Minnesota, yes. <laughs> of course, they came from a store, so not outside. Um, but they're really pretty, a nice bright yellow. But that would look just beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little, my little black swirls. Do I want to do black swirls? Hmm. I think I do yeah I think I'm gonna do all of my black now so I have the black that goes around that goes around the petals and then the stems and then I have my black swirls I have some dots going on in here some some fun little details so I'll go ahead and add some blacks I'm taking my little brush setting it aside now this is one area that I'll let you exercise your artistic freedom and if I'm going to use my big brush because big brushes make the skinniest lines. Hi, Tasha. Yeah, no problem. Stop in. Um, if you if you got a kit, definitely you can paint along. If you didn't get a kit and you have your own supplies, you can still paint along. Um, if you're just checking in to see how it works and maybe want to try the next one, get a kit later. Perfect. Thanks for checking in and seeing. Um, feel free to. I'm doing this for us. <laughs> just because I can't paint with you guys in the studio right now, really. So I still want to paint with you. So let's paint together. Um, so I have my black. Now I'm just dunking my big wide brush in the black and just smoothing it out. So now I'm tapping each side of the brush on the plate to get a nice thin chiseled edge. Your edge will be thinner or thicker depending on how new your brush is. Once your brush is really old and frayed, it's not going to get quite so chiseled, but you can just add some extra paint and it'll help it. <laughs> it'll help it a lot, actually. So now I'll start at my 
top of my stem. And notice I'm leading with the skinny edge. There we go. See, a nice thin line. And one thing about these big brushes is they hold a lot of paint. So I can get all the way to the bottom of the stem without running out of paint. The little brushes don't do that. Um, another thing, um, Tasha, and for everybody, is if you are just checking these out, maybe you want to do some paint alongs for your kids to keep them busy in the afternoon. I know there are a lot of people working at home now that weren't before, and their kids are home too, and they still have to work, and um, how do you keep them occupied? Well, these videos are being recorded, so you could just come back to the Facebook group, set your kids down with a canvas, turn on the video, <laughs> and let them paint. So now I've got this other stem, same technique, just start at the top, lead with a skinny edge all the way down. Okay, and it's not going to be perfect. You're gonna to have to wide out the stem a little bit at the top, and that you can do, I have to make sure I'm not dipping my hands in paint and then putting paint pr hand prints on my painting. So I just do kind of a little uh, boop, and that's like a little triangle. <laughs> Did you see that? I'll do it again. Okay, so I'll do that right over here. I'm gonna do a little boop triangle. So I'm just laying down the brush here and pulling over a triangle. Okay, so that's now the top of my flower. It's kind of a little weird looking, but don't worry, we are going to bring it up around the petals and it's gonna be just fine. All right, taking some black paint again, and I'll go right between my first and second petal, right along that shadow edge. Starting at the top, lead with the skinny edge all the way to the bottom. And like I said, if you're not comfortable using this big wide brush, go ahead and use whatever brush you wanna use. Uh, you can switch brushes anytime you want to. I'll do that again on each of these edges, lightly, light pressure on the brush. Less pressure on the brush makes a skinnier line. More pressure on the brush is going to make a wider line. There you go. Hi, Angela. There we are. And I know these seem a little dark right now, but I still have some highlights and I still have some other details that I'm going to be doing in my flower. So I'm not at all worried. And because I have this edge of my corner, and this is going to be something that might not be happening in your painting, but I just had that little edge of a corner there that I just wanted to pull that out so it's not catching the eye too much. Okay, so now I'll leave that one be for a moment and then move on to my small flower. Same deal. Dip the brush into the black paint, and I'm just gonna come right lightly on the outside edge there, just barely touching it. Light touch with the brush. And then between the big petal and the second petal, just a nice little, nice little line. Okay. And I think I'll do one more, just a shadow right under that last one. Okay. All right, I'll let this one be. And that black paint is just going to dry for a brief moment. Take my brush, you guessed it, wipe off the paint, throw it in the water. And then I'll get back to my background details. So I'm switching back to my small round brush. Okay, now I wanna do my black, little tiny black swirls. And if you have extra brushes at home and if you have a smaller brush, and I'm not sure what size everybody got, Everybody kind of got uh, a small round and they can be varying sizes, bigger or smaller. But if you have a smaller one, if you want to do more detail, you just go right on ahead and switch brushes. I'm going to keep right on working with what I got. So just adding a touch of water and a little bit of black paint. And one way that you can get your uh, round brush to be a little bit more pointed, a little more paint there. So if you roll your brush in your paint, and then pick it up, it'll skinny it up a little bit. Now this is just a kind of a, a blunt round, so it's not a pointy round. Some brushes are really pointy rounds, um, but this isn't one of those. So you can get, some brushes will get pointier than others. This one is just gonna only get this pointy, and that's the way it is. Okay, 
So I'm just gonna do another cinnamon bun swirl, but I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller because black really, um, it, because it's a, such a dark color, it'll really catch your eye. Okay, a little, another little one over here. And you can make your swirls whichever direction you want. If you're gonna go this way, that way, counterclockwise, clockwise. <laughs> These are your swirls. Do another little one over here. And I think I'm just gonna do one more and stop. And then I'll add some cute little dots. Okay. You make as many as you want to. But my brush is pretty wide, so these, these big black swirls are turning out pretty wide. So what I have now, so I have these dots in here. I'm just going to add a few dots. Trick to dots. Sure, you can do dots with your brush, and I might do that too. But another way to do it is with the other end of your brush. So I'll just take a little bit more black in here, mixing a tiny touch of water. And then dip the other end of the brush, the brush handle, and then I'll do some dots. So I can go dot, dot, dot. And if you were watching last night, you saw us doing the dot mandala, similar technique, dot, dot, dot. Although we weren't using the back of the brush last night, we were using uh, dot tools. Although if you wanna use the back of your brush for your dot mandalas, by all means, feel free. I'm just picking up a little paint and just dot, 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 dot. Not in every swirl, just a, just a few of them. I like the look of the dots, I think, on this one better than the black swirl, so I'm just gonna add a few more dots. Well, I think that's looking pretty good. Let's see, I'll do another one over here. And I think I might let the dots go for a little bit, maybe a little bit over here. Okay, when you're, if you use the back of your handle, one pro tip is when you're done, wipe off the back of the brush. I don't know about you, but I always like manage to move the brush around so much, I'll end up with black on my face, I'll end up with black on my sleeve. So just wipe it off your brush when you're done with it and be done with it. Okay, so now I'm wiping off the brush off the paint off of the bristles of the brush as well, throwing that into the water. And let's see. So now I have my lights and darks in here. Actually, pretty much just my highlights. You can go back if you wanted to darken up your purples, you can go back and add another layer of purple. I might do that actually. So I'm taking my big brush, giving it a swish in the water. Drying it off on the paper towel because I want mostly just paint. Just going straight into the purple. And make sure your black is dry when you do this. I'm starting on the bottom of the petal and just pull up. And I've got really darkening the bottom of my flower because this purple is a little bit transparent. Sure, I'm covering over this black a little bit. The black is still gonna show through. A little bit more purple. I can do a few more darkening some areas here. There. Now, again, I'm leading with the skinny edge. This is one way that you can have a lot more control over this brush is leading with the skinny edge. That's a pretty good pro technique there. All right, so I'm just give, I'm giving this flower a little bit more depth, a lot more depth, actually. Kind of goes from being a flat purple shape to being a flower. So here's where you get these really, really, really nice textures where this flower looks shiny and lively. Uh, so I have a little bit of purple in my brush and you know how we did before, we start at the top, you pull down and lift off. That's key, lifting off is key. So starting at the top, pull down, lift off. Pull down, lift off. A few more times. I'll leave that one as it is and then move on. 
I think maybe I'll add a little bit of darker purple at the tops of these petals as well. And this reference photo, this is just a cheat sheet for you. You don't have to make it look exactly the same. You make it look like how you want it to look. And Okay, so now I'll move on to my little flower. I'll add my shadow areas, kind of right down here in the bottom of the main petal. Hi, Jesse. And then I've got my dark area top left. All right, and then also I'm starting on the outside petal, starting at the top and just pull down. So now I'm really darkening that, that petal. Middle petal, I'll stick to mostly the outside edge. Yeah, just blending that color down. And the big foreground petal, I'm starting at the bottom and pulling up, just like the first time through. It's just a little flick lift off. There. So that looks just fine. So our next area that we'll be working on is going to be this white. We've got some white highlights. We have some white highlights that go down the stem. And we have some white dots. So we're just going to, we'll just move on to the white next. So I'll just wipe the paint off of that brush. Go ahead and swish it in the water. So I'm kind of drying that brush off and then I'll move on to my white paint. So now I'm just going straight into the white. Now my white is getting pretty dirty. Don't worry about it. The really, the only thing that you want with this is for it to be lighter than your flower. And it is. Doesn't matter if it's got blue, doesn't matter if it's got purple. And those colors are actually going to add some nice texture. So it's not a big deal. So I'm just, I put white on the end of the brush and then I'm just wiping most of it back off again. I want very little paint left in the brush. You can see not that much paint left okay so now when i go to my flower i can put it down and lift off okay so you're probably going to have to pick up a little white each time because you're picking up white and wiping it back off so there won't be enough to do this twice so i'll do it one more time yeah i don't mind that at all so i think i might even go up and darken this top one there okay a few other highlights i'm going to add outside edges of these petals and like we were doing earlier if you lead with a skinny edge so right outside edge and this one I'm pressing down much more firmly to get the wider line get a little more white again so I'm picking up a white then dabbing the paint back off again on the paper towel or paper plate and outside of this petal pressing down kind of firmly and then lifting off leading with a skinny edge and that gives me that nice little highlight shape now we'll go to that foreground petal. This time we'll start at the bottom and go up. So I have my, have my couple of highlights down here on that main petal. So starting at the bottom and I'm pressing down kind of firmly again, lifting off. And just a little one at the top, there. One pro tip is, uh, especially on this particular painting is, um, when you press down and lift off, any brush stroke that you make, make your brush stroke and then stop. Um, don't keep going. <laughs> if you keep blending, you're gonna end up with something that's uh, maybe a little bit more overworked, but again, it's your painting. You do what you wanna do. All right, same technique. I'll just add a couple of little highlights on the edge of these outer petals and then move on to the baby. doing my thin little petals or my thin little highlights bottom first. How's this coming through? Are you guys uh, still seeing the video okay? Yeah, let me know if you can see it or not. I know there's a little bit of a delay. Okay. But my iPad is showing a black screen, but my phone is showing a my tabletop so let me know if you can see it okay in the meantime I'll just keep right on going with these highlights middle petal pressing down pretty firmly for that wide highlight lifting off and then I have my big highlight right on the main petal okay so that is looking pretty okay 
Give me a thumbs up if you can still see what's on the screen. All right, so now I'm just taking a little bit of white and I'm going right down that petal, or right down the uh, stem. So just like we did before, a little bit of paint, lead with the skinny edge, just dropping it right on the stem. And just pull down to the bottom. Same with this little guy. All right, I'm gonna let that be and then I'll wipe this paint off of my paintbrush. I'm even gonna give it a good rinse. Okay, good. Hi, Wyatt. Hi, Beth. Hi, Tasha. I think you were here earlier. Okay. So now I have my little white dots. I have some big white dots. Those will be done with the brush, the bristle end of the brush. And then these little teeny tiny white dots will be done with the back end of the brush. And I have two dot making brushes here. So let's see. Kind of a little dot, kind of a big dot. Actually, let's just use this big brush for the big dots. So uh, just like we did earlier, you do have to mix a little bit of water in with your paint to get it to dot easily. So I'm just going to take a little bit of white there and mixing it in. Okay, looking pretty good. And I'll take the back of my big brush now. I'm going to try to make those big dots. So I'll do a big dot. Yeah, that's fine. What if I just dot it? Maybe I'll just dot it. Or maybe not. <laughs> okay. I'm going to switch my little brush again. Wipe off the back of the brush when you're done dunking it in paint. I'll do some of these little dots. So I have some of these little triangle dots. And you do any kind of dots you want. You put them wherever you want. This is your painting. If you don't want white dots, maybe you want black dots, maybe you want purple dots, blue dots, I don't care. You make the dots that make you happy. Plus dots are kind of fun. These kind of dots are really fun. Uh, if you want your dots to be exact and you want to follow a pattern and you want to end up with something really, uh, really cool looking when you're done, if you'd rather do a Dot Mandela style dot, you know, that's going to be a little bit more pretty dotty. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. These kind of dots we aren't worried too much about. They can go where they want to go. And we don't have to follow a grid or a pattern of any kind. All right, I think I am going to add some of those larger dots. So I'm going to do that with my bristles. So I'll just pick up some of that, the mixed up white paint and just make some bigger dots there. And that's working just fine. I'm just pressing the end of that brush down and just making little dots. And isn't that fun? Okay, what do you think? Hi, Cassie. I think we're looking pretty good. So if you have a, a thinner brush, you're going to get thinner swirls. If you have a, a thinner flat brush, you're going to get thinner highlights. Um, but that is the basics of our purple tulips. So any questions, let me know. Like I said, if you want to vote on your next favorite painting, I'm going to be posting a few more in the Facebook group and let you guys vote on your favorites. Um, and then we'll do some new paint alongs. I know we got to keep busy and keep the kids busy. This week we're doing three paint alongs. Next week we have two scheduled. Uh, the week after, oh, the week after we also have two scheduled. So I'm, I'm good with the two a week schedule. If you want to see more than that, let me know. Our next one will be Saturday night at seven o'clock the saturday night 7 p.m paint along is going to be the milky way so if you want to paint this we'll have kits available you can just uh, check out the website creativelyuncorked.com just check the uh, events calendar that's where these paint alongs are going to be listed and after we do the paint alongs we are saving these videos into the facebook group so if you didn't get your kit in time or you didn't get a chance to paint along this time then you can just pick up your kit or get your supplies and
paint along later because the videos will be there for a while. So nice and easy and art kits to go. Uh, the art kits to go, you can have, they'll have the instructions in the bag. So you won't have to wait for a video. Although some of them will already have videos and they're going to be in this Facebook group. So check that out. Well, thank you everybody for coming in and painting with me. And I hope to see you all in the studio soon when this is all over. All right, good night.